Welcome to the self-sufficient backyard for the independent homesteader. One of our ongoing projects is to create a park-like setting from a jungle. Over time we hope to create trails and resting spots at a few scenic overlooks on our oceanfront property. The before scene shows how thick the forest is and the after footage is what it looks like after I've thinned the trees and properly spaced them. I'm using a gas powered clearing saw and with any power tool it's imperative to wear safety gear including hard hat, eye and ear protection. I genuinely have two speeds, fast and faster. This is my fast speed. If I was going faster, I'd just be a blur. Anything we can easily salvage for firewood, I'll limb, and then we walk each stick out to the road each and every one. Limbs and small diameter trees we can easily access are loaded on a trailer and they're chipped for garden mulch or perhaps garden stakes. So not only are we improving our forest, we're heating our home and making food production easier by keeping weeds to a minimum through mulching. One thing I do when I'm assessing what tree to leave standing is to look up at the crown of the trees. What tree is dominant in vigorous? Then I remove the competing trees roughly four to six feet around it. Keep in mind this is appropriate for our woodlot and circumstances. Every woodlot is different. So please get professional advice before you start cutting any trees. It pays to have a super sharp saw and I touch up my blade every one to two tanks.
I sure do love working and improving our woodlot. It's so satisfying to see a well-managed forest. If you have a piece of woodland of your own, please do consider improving it. I think you'll find it very satisfying. Thanks for watching.